WWE 2K24 has officially been released for early access and despite all the upgrades they made, all the new additions, despite it being a pretty fun game overall, it's another year of 2K absolutely butchering showcase mode. 2K has taken a beloved mode and turned it into the most tedious, the most annoying game mode a wrestling mode could possibly have, and the worst part is, they did it to 40 years of Wrestlemania. Yo, straight up, this mode is not fun whatsoever. This mode is just you for 21 matches doing the simplest yet the stupidest things you could possibly imagine. This mode has become an objective simulator. You legit feel like you're doing a driving test or like an exam or something, like there's a rubric. Every match has 17 plus objectives for some reason, and 90% of them, they, they literally have no reason to be there. 90% of them in the grand scheme of things don't matter whatsoever, but here we are, do 3 corner attacks, now do 3 running attacks, now in the southwest corner of the ring at 2pm on a Sunday night shove a foot up his ass, what the f*** are we doing here? At this point, you're not playing these matches anymore, you're just there following instructions one by one doing the stupidest objectives, and what makes it worse is these objectives sometimes are so simple, so normal, that you would have done these anyway if you're just having a normal wrestling match. So most of the time, it's not even like, oh, you're recreating some cool iconic moments. No, Kurt Angle doing a rebound attack is not exactly an iconic moment. There's no freedom, everything is just so mapped out from A to B to C. You're just sitting there just doing this over and over again and it just it makes no sense because like back in the day we always had objectives in showcase, right? That's normal, but we only had four to five objectives in a match back in the day and they're usually like, you know, get your finisher and the time it took for you to get your finisher that was you having a normal fun back and forth match, but now it's so tedious. Now it's like, do a kick, do a punch, now put him in the corner and give him a kiss like what are we doing this is supposed to be a simple fun mode the one where you go back in time relive some matches recreate some moments unlock some cool stuff now it's become this store three finishers to do a punt in the northwest corner and god forbid you accidentally do it in the wrong corner get ready to spend 10 minutes getting those finishers back buddy and that's the thing i don't even blame you if you do it in the wrong corner see i know my directions never eat shredded wheat whatever but this mode becomes so boring so tedious such a chore so mind numbing you're just on autopilot doing these matches so so I can't blame you for doing the wrong corner, it's just a stupid challenge in the first place. And because there's so many objectives in here, there are so many dumb things that can happen to you. Throw the Undertaker in the northeast corner of the ring. Uh, the issue is Paul Heyman has taken the torn buckle off, so you just have to sit there and wait for the referee to put the torn buckle back on because it just has to be the northeast corner so we can trigger a cutscene that isn't even a cutscene, it's just straight up footage from the actual match. Cause yes, when I play a wrestling game, I want to see the real footage and not play the game. I, 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 I hate it. I hate slingshot tech with everything in my body. Yo, I'm sorry, but splicing in real match footage is not impressive. This is not technology. This is just you being lazy. Instead of animating cutscenes and adding quick time events to make it fun and interactive and feel like it's a part of the game, just throwing in real match footage and calling it a day, this this is not it. So many of these matches end with real footage. W what the hell is the point of that? Not only do you have to spend 10 minutes doing these stupid objectives, when it's time for the actual cool stuff to happen, you don't take part in it. You, you don't do it. No, you just have to watch what really happened in real life. It is so annoying, and you know what's even worse? Some matches have cutscenes like 10 seconds in. Like, look at this. It was Taker and Lesnar. You start the match. Okay, let's start it. Let's do it. The first objective is to put him in the corner. Okay, let's do it. You do it, and oh, oh, great. Real life cutscene time. Guys, it's been 10 seconds. Just let us play. That moment wasn't even that important. Was it really that serious for you guys to make a cutscene for this? There are just so many things wrong with this mode. There's so many things missing that just take you totally out of it. There's no entrances. You know what? Which is fine. Whatever. We're going to skip them anyway. Cool but there's no commentary. Really? There's no commentary? So not only are the matches boring and filled with dumb objectives that you gotta do over and over again, there's no commentary, just generic music, so at this point just feel free to fall asleep. And a lot of these things were present in 22 and 23, which is fine, I get it, but guys, it's 2K24, it's your third year doing this, it is 40 years of Wrestlemania, the biggest mode you guys have done, the most exciting, the most anticipated, and you guys do this? Like, take a look at this presentation, take a look at how special this used to be back in the day, okay? So first, I'll play you 2K24, and then right after, I'll show you something from 2014 from the 2K15 showcase. Undertaker had managed to get back into the match after many thought he was finished, and now he was looking to take Sean on a last ride. Michael, what is, what is Sean Michael trying to do I here? he's going for the pedigree, Triple H's own move, trying to use it against him. Oh, and Michael flopped on that steal. Oh, the game was not going to stand for Look at him now. Oh! John Michael set right into the pod! 
That downgrade is absolutely insane, and what sucks is for the brief seconds you do get the in-game cutscenes in 2K24, they look so good, they look so beautiful, I'm just like, wow, you know, this is beautiful, but then boom, you know, here's real life to take you totally out the moment, to take you totally out of the game. How do you ruin something that is so simple, something so easy, something that has a template right there for you? It's honestly everything in this mode. You do all these objectives and you don't even get to do any of the cool iconic moments. You're telling me you couldn't add a mini game where we could drive the ATV even if it was just one button? For example, one of the most iconic matches on here is Sean vs Razor in the latter match from WrestleMania 10. And what is the one thing that everyone remembers from that match? It's Sean jumping off the ladder. Now you would assume in the mode titled 40 Years of WrestleMania, you would get to do that, right? Nah, you just get to watch the the real thing like why why it's right there for you it's one of the most iconic moments in the history of wrestlemania and we just have to watch the real thing why why can't we play this why can't we jump off the ladder and it's annoying because it's such an easy fix maybe if they actually had a brain they could have made this fun and made you switch from razor to sean and make you do the jump and then after the jump you can have a cutscene or something and you switch back to razor like there's so many opportunities for them to have some fun in this but no they didn't do anything anything that happened that was memorable just becomes a cutscene. that's it simple easy done if there was just a tiny bit of effort and thought that went to this mode it, it could have been safe it could have been fun but no instead it's this 18 objectives that make you never want to play this again and there were a few points during this mode where i was like you know what maybe i don't need these arenas anymore maybe i don't i don't need to do this mode anymore at one point i went to go eat during a match and i paused the match right i had done like 14 objectives the match was almost done what whatever i went to eat and i put my controller down and i went downstairs i come back and turns out my controller disconnected while i wasn't there and the game crash and see normally i wouldn't care too much whatever it crashed it's fine uh but then i realized i had to do all the objectives all over again but you know you know what's fine you know what was actually worse what was worse was in the Lesnar and Roman Reigns match, one of the objectives was do a move near the ramp. And as you can see, I clearly did the move near the ramp, I even did the move on the ramp. But of course, I didn't do in the right spot, so what happens? I don't get the cutscene. So I'm trying to run back, I'm trying to beat the count so I don't get counted out, so I don't have to do these stupid objectives all over again. But of course, I have no stamina, so I get counted out, and time to do 15 objectives all over again. I, I can't, it's just so dumb, so meaningless, so useless, and, and I know what the 2k riders are gonna say, why the hell are you playing the mode then, why don't you go play my rise, oh you know because I have to unlock these arenas and wrestlers so I can actually play with them, I, I have no choice okay, my bad I wanna play in the Wrestlemania 17 arena, and it's funny because 2k knows this, 2k knows how dumb this is, they know how down bad this is, they know how stupid the objectives are, because there's a reason why in the most expensive edition of the game, one of the things you get is, showcase superstar unlock that automatically unlocks all playable superstars from the 2k showcase of the immortals you can pay extra so you don't have to do all this and get the wrestlers what what, what, what a great mode guys what a fall off, what a downgrade, once upon a time this mode was so special, it sold 13 and 14 on its back, back when this mode was so elite that we didn't even get a career mode every year and we, we didn't complain because showcase was enough, but, but this is just bad, this is not a good look. You can do this for the first Rey Mysterio showcase, you can even do this for the John Cena showcase, but 3 years in and this is still what you're putting out? And yeah, I know, you can tough it out, you can finish it, you can get the unlocks, you can put it on easy and, you know, get it done in 3-4 to four hours. I know that, and, and that's what I did. But it's just sad because to this day, you can go back to 2K15 Showcase, and even though that game isn't the best, you can still play that Showcase and have a blast. And trust me, I literally did that a month ago, but now this mode has become such an afterthought, such a money grab, that they're down to advertise this as the main mode in the game, but they won't put in any effort to actually make it good. Nah, instead, make sure you buy the 40 Years of WrestleMania edition so you don't have to play 40 Years of Mania. Great job, everyone. Amazing, beautiful, just, just an amazing job. So much wasted potential, and I'm not even complaining about the matches, the missing years, the missing arenas, all, all that. It's just the tragic part is, like I said, that even with what they had, they still couldn't make it good. So at this point, you know, maybe it's a good thing we didn't get 40 matches. I, I, I hate this mode. In the comments down below, let me know what you think. Was it tedious for you? Was it a chore for you? Maybe I'm just tripping. I, I don't know. There's probably people out there that are enjoying this. Respect to you. I'm happy for you. But let me know down below what you think. Think. It's your boy Pav aka Wrestling Gifts. I'll see you guys with the next video. I just had to get this off my chest because this mode, it, it genuinely infuriated me. Later guys.